effect check on the test with the voice and stuff. Yay. Just let me get the coffee that's sitting in my kitchen and then we'll go. Eh? 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 Alrighty. Pop over Twitch stream. Me? Yeah? It's up? It's up. Yay. Why do I just become such a terrible zombie as soon as I start this game up every time? Not even just this game. It's like every Saturday morning thing. It's like, I'm sitting in bed, and I roll around for 30 minutes, and I do some Japanese flashcards, and then I, I'm like, alright, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty awake. Oops, I'm feeling pretty awake right now. Get out of bed. Ah, oh, where's my those glasses? Get out of the bed. Go and make the coffee, do the setup and things. I'm like, cool. So I, I've actually been awake for about an hour here. So there's gonna be there's gonna be really no amount of grogginess on the stream. And then I hit the button and I say a word and it's back to uh, Frankenstein. I don't understand. 
It confuses me a lot. Any who's it's that's not important or here nor there and nobody really flat out cares. Yay, I, I can rhyme. So get started on the coffee. Find my coaster. Alright. No, mouse, behave. There, click on game. There we go. Now I can start running around. Yeah. Ah, oh, always with the tap jump. Always with the tap jump. Why do you keep undoing my moves? I mean, my setups. Why are you removing these things? I didn't say to remove them. Bam. X is to interact. Yay. Y is to dance. Sure, that works. I didn't forget what I needed. Yes, I did. It's been a week. So you're good at singing, right? That's very nice. What other kinds of gear you got? Gear? Yeah, like weapons? I don't have that kind of stuff. Oh, you mean you just do singing? Yeah, I'm a bard. I always assumed you were at least like an archer or something. Crazy you even got this far. So what is it that you really needed? It's a potion of power. There's a potion shop in town that probably sells it thanks to your lifesaver. Okay, so I gotta do that. Whew, okay. <clears throat> so where where is potion po potion potion shop? Who are you, wild haired lady? Sitting here, you want something? Named Steve. Everyone's so uppity about this hero gal, not me. Don't give a crap. As soon as somebody's that popular, I get kinda suspicious. Nobody's that good. She's a giant phony. Has to be. I like Steve. She was a real hero. Maybe she'd end this stupid war. It just goes on and on. And on and on and on. Who has time for this crap? I'm just gonna enjoy my spot. You do you, Steve. Okay, so I need... Potion Shop. Where has got to Potion Shop? This is the palace and stuff. Where's, like, a door that I can go in? Oh, wait, is this it? That looks like it. Hi, Miriam. What up? Uh, hello. We're here for the potion of power. Wow. You didn't strike me as such high rollers. It'll cost quite a few farquads. Why are they called a fark what? Um, farquads? As in currency? Money? Oh. We don't have any of that. Oh. Well, in that case, you can't have it. <gasps> I, this is unexpected. Why? Did, is this how the world works? Can't we do something for you to give it to us? Maybe for some of my other potions, but the potion of power is very luxurious. I need a treasure chest of farquads to afford it. You seem to be a little short. What do you mean, noob game? <clears throat> Forget about it! Me and my grandma used to make potions. It's not that hard. Screw you and your hoity-toity store. Let's do it ourselves for way cheaper. Okay. Let's get out of here, Lug. Oh, you are you are me. Oh, you make you you're you're joking about the Farquads. Gotcha. <laughs> so even despite all that, that I no. Be, yeah, with all that that I said, my mind like went back to just ro just rolled out of bed. This, so yeah, I can't I can't process jokes very well right now. Lug, screw that guy and screw the hero. She knows we can't afford fancy potions. She's trying to embarrass us. But I wasn't kidding. We can make it ourselves. It took me a minute to remember, but I definitely know all the ingredients for that one. Probably. <clears throat> These are all we need, just flowers and plants, see? Not that hard. She probably assumed we'd never be able to get it. That's why she agreed to help us at all, but we could beat her at her own game. And she'll have to admit she was lying. But since that's her pride on the line, she'll probably actually take us to the king instead. Not sure I'm following. Doesn't matter, just get them things. I'm actually really excited to show her up like this. Yeah! Well, yeah. This is a surprise. 
come to see me. LX1B2, that's an odd assortment of numbers and letters for a name. But thank you for the host! Hope you're having a good Saturday morning. I need to steal this frog from this child. Look at this cool frog I found. Wow. Me and my friend need a frog like that. Can I have it? Okay. Wow, okay. That really wasn't even like kind of hard. Thanks. I thought we'd have to do something for it or at least like shamefully come up with some distraction to like get the frog away and then steal it to throw in a kill potion. But no, he just gave it to me. All right. Where are the other things? Oh, leaf. 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 Do I have to throw something at the leaf? The butterfly sensation are so nice. If you sing, they follow you around. But they get bored fast if you stop. If we can bring five to this tree, I think something special would happen. Ah, oh, so I gotta get... I gotta get the flies. So are, are there five in this specific area? Looks like it. Because, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow, they were not kidding. That is crazy fast. So I've got the three of them, and there's one already there, so I need one extra. Oh, this is, this is difficult. Think, yeah, that's it up there. Eh. 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 Okay, four. The level's music is getting more boppy too. I never noticed this before. Get me my leaf! Yay, leaf! Alrighty, cool. Um, I need a second leaf. Couldn't you have got me another one while you were up there, butterflies? You're holding out on me. So, flower, mushroom, and second leaf. I guess I just kind of have to run around the town a bunch until I spot these things. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. It's been bugging me for a week. <sighs> oh, second leaf. And those are some funny clothes. You ain't Shandash, are you? Sorry, I'm military. I'm supposed to ask. I don't really care. War with Chandash has been going my entire life. I don't really care about it. As long as we don't die, I guess. I like this guy. The military's a bit of a drag, but you get benefits for it. And staying in the city is easy. Nothing ever reaches here. Well, except those giant monsters. But then the hero took care of it, so... Pff, whatever. Scary thought is, since monsters did make it here, are they gonna make it again? And what if the hero's not here that time? A lot to worry about. When it gets to be that much, I'd rather just not think about it. This dude... Sure does have a life. I would argue it's not a very smart one, but uh, that's that's one way to look at it for sure. So that's that's two, and they won't stay. So I need to get actually five. <clears throat> oh, mushroom! All right, so good to know that's in the next spot. That's not that's not the right mushroom. It's not. You see the colors different. It's not that one. You're lying to me, mister. So there was one- there was two up the- here's three. Alright. Damn it. I keep not wanting to actually leave the area. But, uh... I think that means I only really need to track down- well, that's two. Yeah, so I need one more. To do this thing. And I know not where- there it is! Okay, cool. So that's... Three. Just get me up there now. That's four. And five. And all of you just hop down on this leaf for me. Yay. Bring me leaf. <laughs> Yay, leaf. Ingredient get. Now you all just disappear. Come on. Come on, let me transition to the next area now. Why does it keep doing this? This is... So to anybody who's new here, I've, I've had some problems with this game in the past. 
Apparently none of these problems happen on the Switch version, but they certainly happen on the PC one. So either it's a bad port, or the Switch one just fixed a lot of stuff. I don't know. Depends which one came first. It is Saturday, right? Yes, okay. I got very concerned for a second. If it wasn't Saturday, I would be missing work right now. Just fucking playing stream games. Oh no, the mushroom wasn't up there. That was just the mushroom on my on my list. Hey! I found one of the ingredients. It's in this rich person's backyard. I was thinking about just taking it. No way! What would your grandma think if you did that? She'd probably be like, yo, I taught you well. We gotta break rules to fix the world and shit. Let's ask for it. It's just a flower, no big deal. I'm sure it will be a big deal. It's gonna be the last of its, like, super almost extinct genus and shit. Or they'll look at my muddy boots and just say no. No. Hi. There's a blue flower in your backyard. Me and my friend need it for a potion. Can we use it? No. Nice. Yeah, you, you talk to him, Miriam. I said no. I know, but we needed to save the world. It's a long story. Please help us. Sane kids, if it means that much to you, you can have it if you do some yard work for me. We can do that. Right, Miriam? I'm not doing yard work. Lead the way, miss. All these leaves. Move them out of my yard. Out that way. That's like a lot of leaves, though. Or out that way. I don't care. Just get them out of my yard. I'm just making more leaves now. Can I just can I just take it and go? Like she left me alone with the flower. Hey. Have you ever stopped and noticed that the hero goes around fighting monsters with a cool sword? And we get stuck doing yard work? If she were here, she'd just take the dumb flower. Why aren't we? In case you forgot, the world is about to end. Yet you see, Miriam's with me. Doesn't matter if this old lady has leaves in her yard. But I mean whatever, you do you. Steal the flower? Hell yeah. Wanna take it? Yeah. I don't wanna do yard work. I'm glad they gave me the option. Yeah. <laughs> Super sad old granny that was gonna make me cookies for doing her yard work. Too bad, Granny. So, I got a closer look at this flower, and it's not exactly the kind we need. But it's pretty close, so... It's probably fine. <laughs> well, up to you to get the rest of them. Good luck. I'll wait by the lodge where the hero's at. <laughs> so, we've got dried leaves. A flower that's not kind of quite what we need. Uh, a grandma that... Did not give us any cookies. We still need a mushroom. I feel no guilt for that grandma. <laughs> she was all like, no, I'm not gonna let you have the thing that you need to save the world. And then she tried to get me to work for it. And then left me alone with the thing that I needed. It's her own goddamn fault, alright? Her own fault. Don't judge me. People in this city treat foreigners like a disease. It's cruel. I hate it. I came a long way to be safe from the war, but here I am an outsider. With monsters attacking us, I guess it's not safe either. Yeah, you're judging me. I can tell you are. This mushroom doesn't look right. I refuse to take it until I've seen every other option for, like, what might be here or not. Night in the Woods is another game that, like, I know exists and I've heard good things about. And it's kind of on my radar, but like whenever I put it up for a vote or to ask people if they want to see me play it, everyone's like, nah. Or they, they pick uh, they pick the other, uh, whatever other option is available because they want to see that one more. Mushroom? Mushroom? Hmm. I'm guessing mushroom will not be all the way back here. I'm 
I'm going a long way out of the city right now. Yeah. Well, mm, all right. Let's let's stop back in at Timber Town. I won't go any farther than this. But maybe it's a Timber Town. Hi, Phil. You like our rainbow trees? We brought them here for Zia Town. If you go there, you'll see tons more. They're reminded for us to take care of nature. We might be dropping trees, but we always plant more. We gotta work together with the forest, just like our kin. That's something that means a lot to us in rule. All right. So you you don't you don't you don't care. You got nothing for me. There's nothing here talking about mushrooms. I'll move on with my life. Oh, this way we go. Butterflies! <laughs> Okay, so, there might be another option somewhere around town to find a mushroom. I suppose I could also, you know, talk to people, but I'm kind of, kind of not feeling that this morning for some reason. <clears throat> what if I check out by the palace gardens? Who are you? I like the garden. My kin and I put our hearts into raising these plants for the castle. They're like a little babies. You can hear them singing in the sun. The most amazing thing happened to me. It has a strange shape. It left a bothersome gap no matter how I angled it, but I found a stray piece of wood and it perfectly covered the gap. That's my destiny. Sometimes life can be good to you. Alright, so no mushrooms. None of the shroomies that I needed. I'm not seeing shroomies. It might want me to go with that clearly wrong color mushroom. Because I got a frog and two leaves, and then the other two ingredients are gonna be fucked up. And not actually what I need for the recipe. I don't know why, but I feel worried all the time. Back, I wish I could just turn it off. Maybe it's the war, maybe not. Be careful, chump. Me and my kin are the strongest in Ziatan. You make your animal friend fight? Uh, not really. It's just a game we play with the other kids. Yeah, that's what they say about Pokemon, too. Hi, about your yellow mushroom. I need it for a potion. Can I have it? I wish I could just give it away. But I need money. Badly. I had to sell my horse, and now I'm trapped in this city. Ah, oh, I know. But is there maybe something I could do in exchange for it? Yeah, you could give me money. Well, business has been very slow, so if there were a way you could help me with promotion, for example, by performing in front of my caravan, I can drive people away. You'll have to write a theme song for my shop. I have some guidelines to success. I may be a panda, but I understand humans very well. They lack patterns and repetition. Whatever song you write, you're gonna have to sing it over and over without changing anything. So make it interesting, but not too interesting. Shit. <laughs> Is this the song you want? No, hold on. <clears throat> there we go. Just keep tapping up the whole time. I was going to try to throw in a different sound, and then I recognized the timer, and then I had odd timings, and I'd fuck it all. That's way too complicated to remember. Can you make it a little less interesting? Ugh, fine. <clears throat> there you go. Eight notes. Is this the song you want? Yeah. Oh, how amazing is the over and over again, and the humans will come flocking. Do you guys like my barding? <laughs> I keep fucking on my own song. It's because of that extra, extra little gap I put at the end because I mucked up the timing. Additional fun 
function is to cheer <laughs> Master Khan with extreme cuteness. Thank you, Poppy. I'm glad that you appreciate my singing talents. <laughs> Thank you, Westerford. <laughs> this song speaks to me on a deep spiritual level. <clears throat> Just making a high-pitched noise over and over again. Look at all these customers who came, all thanks to your singing. Take the mushroom. Yay! I'm gonna be rich now. That song was so catchy, now it's stuck in my head. I'm kinda angry about it. I want it to stop. I guess there's this shop here. All this forestry stuff has a nice smell. Maybe I'll get it to help me relax. So the people who are into this caravan, I like the vibe here. I can't really afford this nature stuff, but can you just find the stuff outside anyway? Ah, that was an intriguing tune. It was annoying at first, but something about that fifth repetition or so it made me really like it, and it made me notice the pretty nature stuff here. I bet this would make a unique piece of the car. All right, well, that's got. Um, where Miriam at? She went back to the hotel, right? I think she went back to the hotel. Or was it the potion shop? Shit, I can't remember. Whatever, I'll just look in buildings until I find her again. Not here. I need to remember where the hotel is. I, I know it was up a level from the ground floor and kind of tucked behind something. Ah, right here. You got all the ingredients? Heck yeah! Let's see them. Alright, so this flower's wrong, but I told you that. This mushroom is obviously the wrong color. And are these just leaves? Literally none of these are right. Huh? I mean, they're close. But they're all the wrong species, raw color. Oh. Also, the frog was supposed to be alive. It it was when I picked it up. I can work with this though. There's a pot inside the lodge we can use. Hopefully the hero doesn't notice us. Is it gonna work? Of course it's not gonna I told you everything is wrong, but she just needs to think it's gonna work. It just has to look like it will. Potion making runs in my blood. It'll be fine. Parents make potions too? I don't know. Never met them. Oh. They let me with grandma before I can remember. When I was a kid, she'd tell me that they were coming back for me someday. But eventually she stopped saying that. They basically abandoned me. Oh. I'm sorry. Will a little bit of uh, pirouetting help cheer you up? What about What about some of this? This, uh, leg kick in action, huh? Come on, let's see a smile on that face. That sounds really sad. Only when I think about it. Grandpa Sampy, sa sa Grandma, Grandma Saffy, wow, Grandpa Sampy's been gone a long time. Is all the family I ever needed. She made me forget I was missing anything. But I always did have a feeling that maybe if I work hard enough and made myself into something, something heroic and famous, that they'd notice. And realize what a mistake they made leaving me. And come back. Yo, can you like stop dancing while I'm actually opening up to you for the first time and I don't know how long we've been doing this shit? No. <laughs> I don't even care if I ever see him now. Actually, I'm pretty sure I never want to. And I can't do anything heroic anyway. We're gonna save the world, Miriam. Like, you, me, and this fantastic jig. We'll try to save the world. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work. Potion's done. Potion gets? This is my happy uh, victory dance. Um, it looks weird. Yeah, it might actually be deadly. Let's see if the hero likes it. <laughs> All right, cool. Miriam wants to kill someone. You were right here? You could have turned around and watched us talking about this. Oh, there you are. That took forever. Did you fall asleep or something? You almost made me late. I don't have time to hear your hilarious excuses. Point is, you couldn't get it, right? Uh, no, we got it right here. Really? 
Show the goods, Lug. My hypnotizing moves will prevent you from noticing that there are dead spiders in it. Huh. Well, great job. This is a huge favor. So now you'll take us to the king, right? Yes. But we have to go. Right now. All right, flunkies. Excited? Just keep behind me. Hey, watch it. Stay behind me, all right? <laughs> Did she just give me a cold look? Hey, yeah. She doesn't even say anything. Just stares. Ugh. Here, maybe if I just scream in your ear real loud. <laughs> what are you doing? It's the ghost message. It knows we're close to the king. I think it's trying to get out of me. Well, that's not creepy. You two okay back there? Yep, no problem. Ha 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 ha. Okay. I thought she punched me because of the singing. <laughs> <laughs> Being obnoxious is the funnest thing in this game. I hate the actual singing. I'm not a music person, but being obnoxious rules. Oh god, heart attack. Gah. Hey, hey, keep it together. We're almost there. No more hate. I'm alright. You can see from my singing face that I'm not alright. Just making endless noises. <laughs> I've come to love this dance. Slowly but surely. <laughs> now presenting His Royal Majesty, the King of Rule himself. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, great. It's very nice to meet you all, etc. Wow, just very great. Obviously, we have a lot going on right now with the big invasion in three days and all that, so sorry if I seem terse. <gasps> An invasion? Majesty, that was supposed to be secret. Oh, woof. See, this is why I can't talk to outsiders anymore. Too many secrets to keep track of. Secrets for days. Hey, uh, is your buddy okay? Yes! Okay, maybe not. King of rule. It is time to talk. King of rule, it's time to talk. Okay. Your war is tearing us apart. Come to you a princess with an open heart. Ah, oh, damn singing again. I thought this was just gonna be a standard talky message. Too big, the end of what you want to start. Oh no, I'm not saying this. I'm not I'm not saying fucking Beatles lyrics. Cause pain and hate, and you've sown a dark fate with your fear and your blind arrogance. This works. <laughs> Is he okay? In general, probably not. <laughs> and there's the there's the exploded heart, the dead, dead bard. <gasps> oh my god! I have a fear of heights. I just I just remember this right now. What happened? Oh, there you are. You sang your stupid message to the king. Oh, <gasps> right, the message. The ghost was actually a princess from Shandesh. Uh-huh, and she wanted the war to end. Did it work? The message? No. Completely did not work. The king was really insulted by it. He threw you in jail. And then, eventually, he thought the hero of the song, and I had to spy on him to learn it. And then I had to bust you out of jail, and it was pretty cool and heroic and, uh, jeez. 
You were really passed out for all that? Guess so. <laughs> Yay, Miriam! <laughs> Yay! Save of the day! I'm sorry I caused so many problems. It's a good thing you were there to help me out again. Eh, it's fine. I'm getting used to saving your butt. Oh, wait. The king said they were invading in three days. Is that still gonna happen? What are we gonna do, Miriam? It's two days now, and I don't know. It's not our problem. For now, we're going to the Sky Temple, the nexus point on the border. We have everything we need to go meet the Overseer, and that's the priority. In fact, we're gonna get there now. Excuse me. Ooh. Feeling better? Yeah, just kind of wobbly. Great. Cause I'm, I'm done carrying you. Song time. I guess I'll play it on my piccolo. Since I'm the one who knows it this time. Great. This feels weird. Don't uh, listen too close, okay? I'm not some fancy pants musician, all right? I don't know, you're a lot better at it than I am. I am not pushing the button this time. That he's just going on his own. I can change the dance, but I'm not in control of it. <laughs> I don't think it worked. Probably because of my sucky plan. You try it. I thought you played very nicely. Wait, 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 wait. Hold you hold up, hold up. Stop, stop, stop the party. Keep playing. It was really nice. What do you want? There was some kind of mess up. That song isn't gonna work. <laughs> Why can't I do anything right? No, no, no. I mean. That's not the whole song. The King of Rule only knew one part of it. The other part is in Chandish. You gotta talk to the Queen there. Oh. Does the hero know that? We just figured it out. Something weird is going on in the spirit world here. She didn't want me to tell you, but I do, I do what I want. Fuck her. I'm still rooting for you, little bee. And you too, Miriam. You two are a super cute team. Yeah, cool. Can you maybe stop also helping the other person who's supposed to directly oppose us. It's a little weird that you're playing both sides here. Okay, I'm gonna skedaddle. Audrey probably needs me. Love you too. Heart. <laughs> so that's a no then, eh? I hate her. Oh, I hate her so much. Oh, I want to rip her little rainbow spirit hair off. Miriam! What? Don't act like you don't want to do it too. I've heard I've heard the things you say. You are very offended about her playing both sides. Are we going to Chandesh? Guess so. We definitely don't want to go back to rule. Since I busted you out of jail. We're basically fugitives now. Oh. Yeah. I told you. Rules. They gotta be broken. I could see adventure time vibes from this. Rainbow Ghost is definitely playing both sides against the middle. Yeah, I... Eh, mm, I wanted to like Rainbow Ghost, but I don't know if I can trust Rainbow Ghost. Oh, and we got hit by a, by a glowy meteor. That's it, we're dead. Game over. Where the fuck did that come from? Oh gosh, Viv, we screwed up. Yes, I can plainly see that. What do we do? Are they okay? No, they look pretty dead. I don't want to poke them. Yeah! It's alive. I'm alive! You're alive. My broom! She's alive too! Oh, thank Aya. Do you creep shoot us down? Yes. We're really sorry. We didn't know you were witches. Not supposed to be on the border. We helped you land safely. What are you doing out here? None of your business. Flying. If I think they're on a secret honeymoon. No! Bard's like, oh, really? 
Oh my gosh, they super are. We're really sorry we messed up your romantic flight. You, but you didn't. Uh, what are you doing out here? Where? Vivian. And Sandra. The spell squad. <gasps> We're hunting monsters out here. Uh-oh. That must be it, Viv. Duty calls. Sorry again, we shot you down and stuff. We got a monster to deal with. Stay safe here. Bye. I wow, child, this place is going to be even weirder than the other side. Want to talk about it, champ? We'll get you a new broom. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not helping. What if I change the leaves, though? All right, it's it's not it's not doing nothing for her mood right now. I guess I'll chase these two down. Oh, hello, big squad of death ghosts. I've met you before. Oh, you combine into one of these. It's bigger than we thought. No big deal. Remember our training. <clears throat> ah! What are these things? <gasps> I can help. <laughs> If I sing the merchant caravan song, these people will be taken in by uh, the promise of forest-like uh, nicks and knackers that they could sell and make a centerpiece out of. Miriam, it's not working! <laughs> Alright, I'll do the real thing. Hey, you can fight those things? Eh, uh, kinda. Welcome to the team. Help us with this thing. Are you gonna kill it? Well, yes. We're not even sure it's alive. And we gotta protect our forest from it. If you're not gonna help, then stay out of the way. Oh shit, oh, oh god. <clears throat> I don't know what I was to do about that. Oh, I have to help her. I can power up their spells with sing song? That seems odd. Who's up next? You down here? Seems like, yeah, that seems like a no. <clears throat> I really can't help it if he chooses to use moves faster than these girls want to charge him. <laughs> like this. What am I supposed to do about this? They're not doing anything right now. I have no protection. Oh, if I just keep moving. Okay. No miss. Gotcha. <clears throat> Where's the next one? Where's the next one coming from? Who's got it? And super mega spell blast. Kaboomer! Please just fall over dead. Much like the last, I don't even remember what the last one was, but like, I feel like I've got what's going on here. There we go, Logue. The heck are you doing here? Um, well, these witches said they needed help. Irresponsible. This thing is dangerous. Can't believe they let you jump in here. I guess there's no stopping it, so I'll help fight this thing, but only to save your butt. Cool. So, how are you actually gonna help? Because right now, it looks like you just got yourself all scared. <laughs> okay, so charge up the magics, and then you go kablamo. So this isn't actually different from what it was doing before, it's just another target. And like, I got the concept of what they're going for after two or three of this. We don't need to repeat this mechanic ten times. It's... it's a little dragging on, I think. Personally. A 
Especially because these things don't charge very quickly. You have to hit two or three, like, long notes with them. <clears throat> but there we go. Woohoo! Don't woohoo this! These stupid witches nearly got us killed. Twice now! What's the deal? What was that thing? We don't know, boss. They started appearing recently. You mean, they aren't yours? What do you mean? I thought the monsters were, uh, like... A witchy thing. What? No way, boss. They're a total mystery to us. All we know is, they showed up around when the princess disappeared. The princess. Yeah. And the weird thing is, they grow out of the ground, and they don't seem to have a mind of their own. Vivian! Don't forget! Civilians aren't supposed to know all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Military secrets, I guess. Since you helped us take that thing down, we can trust you to keep this all between us, eh? Where did you say you were headed anyways? We're going to the capital, I guess. You mean Moabumi? That's easy. We can help you get there, no problem. Want us to give you a lift? No. You busted my broom. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We can make up for it. Look, I feel like we should probably go with a Miriam. I know. I mean, like, I hear you. I want to be a spiteful, terrible person too, but. <sighs> Fine. Not a single person anywhere in this world can keep a secret. True, KV Johnson. Feels so weird, riding on someone else's broom. <laughs> Hello, Yacht Club. Okay, get off here. This fairy goes straight to the capital. Seriously? You can't even take us all the way there? After you wrecked my broom? Hey boss, we got stuff to do, and it's still a while to go. You'll be there tonight, good luck. Stupid witches. They helped us, Miriam! After they shot my broom. And only because they thought we were Chandesh. Oh gosh, Miriam, we totally forgot to tell them. The invasion from Rule, it's tomorrow. Oh yeah. I rule thinks Chandesh is behind the monsters, but they're a threat to these people too. We have to stop it! Nah. It really isn't our problem. What? How can you say that? We can't let them keep fighting? They have to learn to settle their differences, to fight their common enemy! <sighs> Look, I'm putting my foot down, all right? No, I, I don't, I don't care. If you don't learn the Earth Song, it won't matter. Don't forget, we are fugitives too. We need to keep our heads down. Get the Overseer Song and get out before the invasion starts and without calling attention to ourselves. I think we've had enough of being attacked and suspected in jail time. I don't even remember the jail time. Well, I do. Can we please just play it cool here? Cool as a cucumber. I hate you. I didn't realize the capital was still so far. We're gonna be on this boat all day. Just like when we were pirates. Remember that, Miriam? No, I completely forget. I must have hit my head many times, intentionally. We hung out with pirates, and they really like coffee, and... Oh, you're joking. Sometimes I wish you were too. Miriam is the best character in this game. I've never been to Chandesh. Is it where all witches are from? I wonder if my parents ever lived here. It's a little weird. I've never really been around other witches before. Grandma Safi told me there was a kingdom of witches. Never crossed my mind to go. Back in Delphi, I was the only witch. It made me kind of special. This whole kingdom feels like a big club that I was never invited to. I'm just gonna stay here and avoid talking to anyone. I like Miriam. I like Miriam a lot. Hmm. Oh, hello. I do apologize if I seem distracted. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I'm in charge of the musical entertainment, but I forgot a most crucial element. Music. Hmm. The band has no score to play. They're all preparing in their quarters, but they must be as bamboozled as I am. Hmm. Well, that's that's a that's a might shame. What are you headed to capital for? I was out in the boonies. Can't wait to get back home. All the good stuff's in the city. Ahem, hello. I'm the captain of this boat, and I'm also the maramba player in the band. Of the three parts, I go first because I'm the captain, and captains are the leader. It's easily the most important part. I have to capture the audience's interest and set up the rest of the song. But I don't have any music. Perhaps you could compose it for me. Sure. Most excellent. You have the floor.
<laughs> hmm. Hmm. Shall this be it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Done. Most excellent. My bandmates are likely in it as well. You should help them follow up my performance. It's gonna be so hard to follow. <laughs> Boat ride is dull. Someone told me there's a performance later, but then she got all mumbly, so I'm not really sure if there is one or not. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Excuse me. That room is for a very important VIP guest. Do not disturb. Please think twice before you barge into random rooms. But it's fun. Bard gets it. Totally is fun to just barge into room. Hello, accordion player. Here for the show, I'm in the band, and my part is the most important. I'm the last to play, the big finale. I'm the part everyone remembers. Must be exciting to meet me, oi. Yeah, I'm here to write a song. <clears throat> what? You? Think you can make something worthy of the big finale? Well, let's see what you got. Whoa, that's quite complex. But I can handle it. <laughs> Look at his legs! Look at his legs! Oh, it sounds so horrendous. Let me try again. I can't. Just in case I have to follow it. There's no way I could do that again. <laughs> I'm surprised they let me do that. Alright. I'll just go back and forth. Does this sound like a big finale? Yes. Complete with the off timing intro. <clears throat> no sweat. Looks like we got ourselves a finale. Just gotta make sure the band's with us. You know, for being professional musicians, you guys sure don't seem to have any kind of an ear for music composition, because what I'm writing is not good. You spooked me. Why would you just run into someone's cabin? I don't know. Then leave me alone. Are you just gonna stand there, or are you gonna write my part? Stand. <laughs> Yay for the options. Music! Well, I'll have you know, my part is the absolute most important. I'm dead middle. Part two of three. I have to keep the audience interested. All while feeling in the real meat. If you can write for that, then let's see what you got. <clears throat> no thanks. There's no way, no way I can keep that up again. <clears throat> It doesn't follow any cadence. I like this part. And then just hold. Four notes. <clears throat> Is this right? Yes. Well, 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 not bad. That's it then. We're due to perform quite soon. I think everyone felt a disturbance from that nightmare chord that I put on the accordion player. <laughs> Goodness me, miraculously the band all has music to play. Won't you join us for the show then? Let's go. <clears throat> now watch it be that I don't have to perform at all, and I really could have just gone with the nightmare. Ahem, thank you for coming on this empty boat with nothing else to do. May we now present to you our song, which somebody just made up today. <laughs> it's so bad. So completely discordant. Wow, he was having none of it. Or maybe he just wants to be a rock star. Booyah. My goodness, riveting. 
Captain's like, what the fuck did we just play? Oh, why are you here? Achievement unlocked. Slow clap. Bravo, bravo. Oh, crap, it's... His hero, we're so honored by your attendance. Oh, oh no, 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 the honor's all mine, but you know, what I'm not honored by is the attendance of these criminals. <clears throat> criminals? Yes, I'm afraid so. These rogues broke through rules border, cheated their way into the king's court, and made a getaway from prison to here. They're fugitives from rule. I can't believe. How cool these punks are! <gasps> what? They broke every rule in the book! All the subterfuge you rule? Scoundrels who took our beloved princess? She's just like, this plan isn't working, I'm out. And ended her poor life. An enemy of those villains is surely our friend. I didn't know that part. Guess that would explain some things. Like how we found her. Why would they do that? Don't you know? The people of rule hate Chandesh. They do anything to get at us. Miss Hero! She must have retired for the evening. It certainly is getting late as captain. I advise that all guests on the boat take it easy and enjoy themselves. Maybe put out the fire. Nah. I like the fire. It's a good thing everyone's problems resolve around music in a world with no musical taste. Right, KV? <clears throat> I'd be fucked if it weren't the case. Minstrel. Huh? What was that? Minstrel. That looks like Rainbow Girl a little bit. <clears throat> it's me, the princess. The ghost you met. Oh no, it's princess, all right. You delivered my message to the king. Oh, you scared me. Yes, well, it's very hard not to do that when you're dead. Please listen to me. I'm trapped in your body, and I still need your help, but I can help you too. The queen, you need to speak with her, right? That's my mom. I need to talk to her too, before the invasion tomorrow, but it won't be easy to get to her. Mohabumi is a place for magical people, and you can't use magic, can you? No. Right. But if we work together, I think we can figure something out. I like teamwork! I, I really don't, but, you know, for good of... Other things, I, I can get used to it. So is being dead, and I guess it hasn't stopped me yet. Sorry for uh, invading your body and then being trapped inside it. That was pretty rude. And you've already done so much for me. I realize I'm asking a lot. It's cool! Sounds like we need your help too. Guess so. My name's Hala, by the way. The city's just ahead. We are getting very close. As captain, I would recommend that we all prepare to disembark. I would recommend you shut up and stop screaming at me, captain. Welcome to Mohobumi. Please take this complimentary guide map. You got a map. Hold down to open it. This is a lie. Oh, there we go. <laughs> hey, this map doesn't have anything on it. It will fill itself in as you visit different areas. Non-magical persons will have trouble accessing much of the city, so we do not clutter the map with places you cannot see. That... Seems rude. Okay. <clears throat> the crystals also respond to my sing songing. I hope they explain what the point is of that later. Welcome to Mohabumi. The band is all dispersed now, but we really were big fans of your composition. Perhaps we'll save it for future shows. Oh, please don't do that. <clears throat> Not to worry, Rule won't be able to reach you here. You can't use magic, can you? You'll have a hard time getting around town on foot. I'm a complete fool for these shops. Every time I come, I feel I have to purchase something or two or three or four. Mostly these are tourist traps for visitors, of course. Classier places are higher up in the city, but they're just so colorful and lovely. That's dangerous. You do not want to get yourself in a place where you just feel like you have to buy something all the time. That's how you run out of money. That crystal is just not gonna stop. I got it caught in an infinite loop. Maybe it'll form a portal. I guess they sell brooms in this witch city. Don't know why I didn't think of that. They all look like crap, though. We don't have money, also. Oh, yeah. This always happens to us. How are we ever gonna get anywhere? <laughs> 
Apparently, if you can't fly, you can't even get to most of the city. Really missing my broom right now. Really wanted to see it, too. I've never been around so many witches. One way or another, we have to meet the queen. She's got the overseer's song, right? I have a plan. To meet the queen. You. Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. I'll work on getting a broom somehow. Hello, yes. Please peruse my shops. I'm sure something will catch your eye. Let me know if you have any questions. Hey. Oh, she just shows up in mirrors. Nice. You can see me, right? I think I can talk through reflections, so that's handy. If you want to meet the queen, I have an idea of where to start. My sister's a student near here. She might know some way to the palace. I'm marking her on your map, okay? Excuse me, please refrain from talking to the mirrors. It looks creepy. I didn't say anything. Well, I could plainly hear you. Oops. Other people can hear me? This ghost thing takes some getting used to. That's, oh, that is strange. I like that she's still there, though. Even if she doesn't talk, it's just if you go by a reflection. Oh, there's Princess. Family and I cut these by hand. They don't look good. Then your eyes deceive you. <laughs> uh, map. Over that way. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. Eventually, I'm gonna get the ability to fly so that I can go to those upper levels. <clears throat> Oh, can I get this? Just to replace my bard outfit. Step right up. Why not look here for some hot new threads? That outfit is cute, but maybe it's a bit dated. You'll find something you love here. People of Mohabumi have the best fashion in the world. Ask anybody who are fabulous. Don't you want to look fabulous too? Yes. A little feather cap is the definition of cute. Where'd you get it? Oh, thanks. I made it, actually. Huh. I found the feather first and thought it was really cool, so I wanted something to put it in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not super good at sewing, so I got my friend Marley to help. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What a great story. Wait, I wasn't done. Oh. See, because then we had to find... Blah, 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 and that's how we made it. Yeah, I don't want the hat anymore. Well, uh, if you want to buy anything, you can do that. <laughs> Who are you, Beardman? Never seen a city like this. It's a really magical place. Literally, because it's magic. All right, I'm not, I'm not gonna continue talking to you. This baton is always acting up. It's an old family heirloom, enchanted somehow to react to music. But the thing's so bloody sensitive, I can't so much as walk by a musician. I'm sure it's lovely for conducting, as long as the band is kilometers away. Ah! Blimey! Oi, could you please stop that? Blasted thing, enough already. Wah! <laughs> I like him. It's you, from the boat. Are you a student? Eh. Wink. I'm winking, of course, because I know you're not. Did you just cry? Was that a single tear that rolled down his cheek? If you have to come to learn about magic, well, well, I admire your pursuit of that knowledge. There's not much you can do with it. You are not a witch. Unless you were born with a gift. No, it was not. It was his speech bubble disappearing and, like, shrinking down. Oh. Sorry if I didn't notice you just now, I'm working on my thesis. Just going back and forth from my room to the library day and night forever, and... I forget how to talk like a normal person. That sounds about right. <clears throat> Andra! Sis? Andra! Am I seeing things? Oh, what are you doing in that mirror? Need your help, Can. I need to talk to Mom. Oh gosh, hell, she's been worried sick about you. We all have. What happened to you? I died. I know that, but what? How? An accident. Accident? That's all I get? Everything's a secret for me. They didn't even tell me when you vanished, hell. I'm not a baby anymore. Sorry, Ken, but, uh. I don't really. Want to go through the whole hubbub right now? So how about you just take me to mom? What do you need? Tie down to this body. Hi. I'm a bard. We don't have access to magic. Can you maybe... How are we gonna get to the palace? No magic. Wait, wait a sec. Did you say you're a sing... Wait, what? I can't... I, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh, that's right. What? I was just studying this in class. It's a little known fact of magic. It's actually just advanced music. Huh? And way, way back, we used to use songs to do magic. 
Found it. Try singing this. Ooh, teleporters. It worked. I can do magic? Sort of. Singing is primitive compared to real magic, but these crystals are extra magic sensitive, so they'll respond to you. That's the only example song in the book. I wish I could be more help. Liking the music here, too. I bet Amaris would know more about the spell songs. Also, sorry, the, uh... I had, I had a little spell of the bandwidth cutting out there. Yeah, it looks like it's hitting unstable levels. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Asshole, who's, who's taking up the, uh, the bandwidth in the building again. Not her. Our older sister. She's headmaster of this whole school, and yeah, pain to deal with. I don't want to see her. I don't think she wants to be seen by anybody. She's been hiding at the top of her tower for weeks. There's also Padria. We can mark where she lives for you. Maybe she can help, too. That's a much better idea. Thank you. I wanted to give you a hug just now, but I guess you're just a ghost in a mirror. I love you, Hal. Love you too, sis. Even though ghosts can't love, we're dead. <clears throat> oh, it's not a teleporter, it's a springboard. Okay. Oh, I can't- I can't duck down through platforms anymore because of my stupid map! That means I'm gonna be stuck going up. Huh. How do I? How do I? What was that? I don't remember what the thing was. I fell. Fuck. <clears throat> if I talk to her again, will she, t will, she, will she tell me what the thing was? Where the fuck was I? You know that story about the goddess Aya creating a universe with song and all that, right? According to the book, since the universe is fundamentally just music, we discovered we could use music to manipulate it, and that's what evolved into magic. It sounds pretty crazy, but it does work, so I guess it's true. See, like, now I can't get back up anymore. You, can you tell me? I wish I could take you to the palace myself, but you have to cast a spell yourself to get it in. Write it on your map so you don't forget it. Oh, there it is. Okay, yay. Bam, bam, bam. That's all I needed was some somewhere for it to be jotted down. Yay. And now I can go around looking for stuff. Are you one of my students? Ah, ha, ha, of course not. If you were, you'd never forget me. Take magical engineering sometime. You'll love it. Douglas, you're all right. I'm rather like a bear. I'm fairly placid until provoked, and I'd like to hibernate three months of the year. Ah, ha, ha. It's probably as far as the analogy goes. I don't make a habit of scratching my rear end on trees. The administration would frown on that. You should do it anyway. Miriam, you look like you're having troubles. Yeah, You got a broom! Yeah. I had to do a bunch of pointless side quests, and but I got one of those cheap shop brooms. It's not exactly good. Going more than a couple feet off the ground is pretty terrifying. I'm trying to get used to it. Guess what? What? I learned how to do magic. What? Singing can do magic, and not just like the magic of friendship, but real magic, like spells that do things. That's that's great. Well, I'm in no shape to take a passenger yet, so I guess doing your thing. Figure out how to get to the castle. I'll learn to fly this thing, and then we can join. <gasps> this is embarrassing. I only ever flew my grandma's broom. Everyone here makes it look so easy. And I look like an idiot. I guess now I'm just the failure witch. You can't even do basic witch things. I can't fly brooms either. Yeah, but you aren't a witch. She, she makes a good point. <laughs> hey, cutie. I don't go here. I was just stopping by to deliver my boyfriend some dinner. I'm an awesome, supportive girlfriend. He's studying hard night and day. When you fall into that, it's easy to forget to do everything. Like eating. Yeah, that makes sense. I gotta get up there, eh? Whenever I'm lost, I always remember the three Ds. Down does D. Open the map. 
Wait, that's not very memorable. Wait, how do I open the map again? Oh no, <laughs> Gonzalo, you fucking failure. Ooh. I didn't expect to turn on this whole thing. Wait, how are you here now? How are you getting everywhere faster than me? Miriam is a very good witch. Like, to the point where I'm, I'm just confused. I can finally explore the rest of this market. There's a lot here, mostly crap. I guess this is what witches like, though? I was checking out this candy. It's really weird. Safi never made stuff like this. They're all homemade from family recipes passed down through generations of witches. I like candy. Of course you do. Try some of my dried worm guts. Can I have candy? What? That is candy. My worm guts are the best in Moabumi. Try, try. That's okay. No, try the worm guts. Damn it. Eat them. Eat the worm guts. If not the worm guts, how about my pickled bug horns? Witches really eat these things. We love these things. Try, try. Such a waste to come and not even taste our candy. Just try one thing. I insist. Fine. Oh, hmm. That's really tasty. Didn't I tell you? That's a very popular one. Sweet, crunchy bat flakes. Would you like to take some? Nah, I'm okay. All this is made from stuff around here. You never see this back in Delphi. There's this one familiar flavor, though. Kind of like this wild mushroom we used to pick. It grew under the trees in Delphi. She'd cook it in everything. I don't think it's exactly the same, but the taste really reminds me of those mushrooms. I wonder if she was trying to mimic this. Maybe. You never told me about it if she lived here. I never even asked where she came from. I wish I had. I like to think she was here once. Maybe she grew up here. I don't know why, but I like to think that. Which is the most fake, boring, annoying people on the planet? I'm not really proud to be one of them. And we're born with such strange hair colors. Paint green, cyan. Ugh, I like normal human hair colors. I guess that's obvious. From my hair now. What is the ones on the roof about? Also, I feel like I'm down a level. No, this is where I have to be. I don't really get why there's a war going on. Like, what's with the rule? Did they do something? They seem cool to me. Eh, you'll, you'll learn. You'll learn some stuff about world and life. Whoops, I feel like that's the wrong way to go. Boing! Great-great-grandma started the whole war. It's true. A long time ago, she was a Zeatin. She saw one of those animals. What do they call them? Queen? Queen? It was a beautiful bird, I think. And then she decided to keep it. But later she found out it was the prince's queen. When it went missing, he panicked. They thought it was kidnapped by spies. So they started a war over it. You know, it was crazy, because the queen liked my great-grandma so much way better. The prince was, like, really mean to it. It was embarrassing. So they kept the real reason for the war a secret. But it was my great-great-grandma. Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, that sounds like a suitably stupid reason for a war. It's the something. Please don't say that out loud. I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, I don't sweat it. A criminal's record's like a badge of honor. Well, to me, anyway. I won't tell anyone your cool secret. Appreciate it. Miriam, what the fuck? How? How do you keep teleporting? Want to buy a potion? I don't have any money. Aw, too bad. My potions are the best. So, they make potions here. That's your specialty, right? More like my grandma's specialty. I just picked up some things from her. But we can never make potions like these. We just use what was around us. What's your specialty? Hmm. I guess I'm pretty good at blowing stuff up with my fingertips. That's very violent, Miriam. Do you really like blowing things up? Well, yeah. It's really fun. I don't know. That's just what my magic does. Magic's so different here. Witches have all these different uses for it. They do lots of things. I feel so simple by comparison. I thought doing magic made me a witch, but we're barely even the same thing. Miriam's going through some existential crises here. My grandma's the only one who feels like home, and we haven't talked in a long time. I keep wondering if she's okay. But she's worried about you too. Yeah. And I mean, you know, what if we don't make it in the end? What if the world ends? Last time I saw her could have been the last. I never thought about that. Well, I did. 
I think we'll make it back. I guess I don't know for sure. Either way, you don't have to feel alone because you have me. That's nice. Not really reassuring, but it's it's nice, I, I guess. So tired up all night before partying, and then I had work today. I think I'm starting to see things. You look like a happy green elf. <laughs> Alright, gonna move on from crazy, man. Nothing down here. Gotcha. Wow, there is a lot of uh, space left in this city to go through. Whoops! I did not want to fall all that way. Can I get back up this way? I It's too far down. Son of a beeswax. Wait, wait. Yes. Yes. Boing, a boing, and onwards. Hey there, bud. Don't be rude to anybody. Moabumi is a city of love. Well, I'm the only one who says that, but I'm gonna make it true. Cool. Hippies. It's you, the creepy one who escaped from jail, stowed away on my boat, snuck into my room, and sang me a song. Well, how you doing? Break any more laws lately? <laughs> Matilda's cool. Another day of war with rule. Folks may not always talk about it, but you can bet it's on their minds. Prob probably fair. It's a war and all. Oh, here we go. Think this be the place. Oh my. It can't be. Holla? Katria, how's the baby coming along? Holly, you, you, you're totally dead. You can't be here. You died. I know. I was trying to make it less awkward, sis. What's going on here? I'm in this body. Hi. And we need to talk to mom. But this minstrel doesn't have magic. The best we can do is sing the really old spells. The old songs? Did you talk to Amaris about it? No. I'm trying not to see her. I was hoping you could help us. Would that I could, but I'm not a scholar like Amaris. I don't know these things. You know she could answer a question like that. <sighs> we do know one. The one that goes like this? That's easy. That was it. The one that lets us walk on walls is a handy one, but if you want to see Mom, you've got to talk to Amaris. It's the only way. We will. I love you, Hala. Please don't haunt me forever. I'd be tempted, but I'm already in a committed haunting with this minstrel. <laughs> Give my regards to my niece when she's born. Yay. That cool. Okay, so what's over here then? Oh, wait, that, uh... Right, so going into the house just takes me to that square room over on the right. I see. Now I've got... I want to explore this little space right beneath where I'm at right now. There might be something there. But I have to go, like, do a bit of looping around to get there. That one. Okay, so I can just hop straight onto the walls. Then let's try this. What is up here? You know, being a witch doesn't make life easy. I think about this all the time. People think magic solves all your problems, but I got a lot of problems. I wish it solved all my problems. And when when you have magic powers, uh, that just introduces a new slew of problems. It's the way life and problems work. I'm gonna not jump because it takes me right off the roof. And there's nothing here. Okay, cool. Just needed to check. Let's move on. Because <clears throat> I want to go back this way. I know that going up in that room is the way they want me to go, but the way I want to go is back here. 
a boing, a bloomy, and then wait, wait. Ah, I still need another one to get through walls. Because this one, this one's still blocking me. That's a shame. I'm gonna have to come all the way back. Anyway, how you guys in chat doing? Been a pretty calm morning. This is weird. Okay, so I, I can't get through here either because I'm gun I'm clearly gonna learn one that lets me walk through walls. Like it's just gotta happen. Because there's a bunch of these things that are just straight up blocking off areas. Wah! I love living upside down. Wait, no. It's the rest of the world that's upside down. I'm one of the few right side up ones. Yee -hee -hee. You're weird. It's down here. Okay, this is just a way to get up here. Gotcha. I got mail. This is what counts as exciting. I don't have mail because I still don't get mail to my stupid building. So ready to get out of here. All this stress is bad for my skin. This forever war would be boring if it wasn't also terrifying. I don't want to be eaten by a monster. That's fair. Absolutely fair. Hola, my amigo from the boat. Are you enjoying Mohabumi? This just so happens to be right near my favorite place in the city, the Creta Theater. All the best musicians in the world come here. I would play here myself, but I'm not one of them. I smashed my accordion. Perhaps I did not think that through. Yeah, it seems like a bit of a mistake there, Mr. Accordion Player. Oh, hey, Viola. Oh, all of you guys. Holy cannoli. Ace. Manny. What a sight for sore eyes. Always thought we might run into you again. It's been a while. We ain't got much time to chat. About to go on stage here. Once we're up there, oh, that's going to be our whole night. These witches sure know how to party. I'm mentally preparing myself. We'll give them a night to remember. Come watch us in a bit. Maybe. Yeah, I'm with this band. It's just a temp thing. They're so... Dorky. I'm working on launching my solo career. The music I do is pretty different, but I need these gigs. I love the crater. I love to just get down and freaky. These joints are old. They still got life in them. Alright, hearing an old man saying he wants to get down and freaky is a little weird. I cannot not dance while I'm in here. Miriam. What the fuck? Uh, <clears throat> what, uh... What are you doing here? I don't know. What are you doing here? You and your cheeky grin. Nothing. It looked like you were dancing, Miriam. No, I, uh, uh. Okay, you know what? I was dancing. Is that against the law? I didn't know you liked it. I don't, usually, but I don't know. I've been figuring out a bunch of stuff about myself and it's been exhausting and Look, fuck you, all right? I want to dance. I want to shake these shake these hips around. I don't care if you want to judge me. No, I want to dance with you. Yeah, just right up in your face. Um, so what sort of stuff have you been figuring out? Everything. Like who I am and what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Oh, that's heavy. You figured that out? No. I guess you don't really ever figure that out. I was just thinking about it. This is not the correct, uh, dance for here. You always seem to know what you're doing. I do? Well... Okay, no you don't, but... You know who you are. I do? Oh, shut up. Yes, you do. You're always so sure of what you want, and you're always so happy. Like, it's just easy. It is. <sighs> not for me, it ain't. How do you do it? Huh? You mean, be happy? Yeah. That's kind of a tricky thing. I want to be happy. I don't know. Maybe it's not really that easy. I have to try hard all the time. Lots of stuff make me feel sad. 
Yeah, I don't believe you, but sure. But then you just get over it, like when we were in Chismest. You were so mopey about not being a hero, and then you were fine again. I don't know if I really got over it. I just stopped thinking about it. <laughs> just, I, I do not condone this. Do not just stop thinking about stuff. You still wish you were a hero? Yeah. I don't want to be mean, but that girl who's the hero, I think she's evil. You think? It's unfair. Why is she the hero? All I wanted was to make a difference and save the world, but I'm nobody. Nothing I do matters. She's still killing overseers. Paula's message didn't stop the war. And I keep trying, but I'm scared. No matter how hard I try, I'll never change anything. See, that's what's good about you. Huh? Heroes, monsters, overseers, witches, you're, you're in way over your head. You don't even have powers, like I do. But you keep trying, even when it's hopeless. I really admire that about you. You don't have the same gifts I do, but you keep racing ahead of me. Sometimes it makes me feel useless, but uh, it's also inspiring. I want to be like that. Wow, this is getting heavy. Hey, Shawnee, what up? You've missed an hour and a half. Thanks, Miriam. Dancing feels really good. I didn't know, but I needed this. Yeah. I'm glad you're having fun. This band is from Delphi, isn't it? It's the one you played with. Yeah. I missed your show, but I dug I dig this music right now. Miriam, you like music? Is it really you? <gasps> They're from where I grew up. It reminds me of home. I thought in the City of Witches I'd find something familiar and learn about myself, but so far, the thing that's connected to me most is this. It makes me think about grandma and red trees and all the stuff that makes me happy. See, that's the power of music. Did, did you just call it fucking music? I'm gonna slap you. I'm gonna dance here a while. No more talking. Just dancing. Me time, okay? Okay. <laughs> yeah, so Miriam's been... Miriam's been the one with actual character growth through this game, not me. I started off a doof and I'm still a doof. Yes, Shawnee, I'm in general. Whenever I'm in gen general, it's basically open call for whoever wants to stop in and chat. <laughs> Can we get a petition to make Miriam the main character? I would love that. However, I'm starting to think that if Miriam were the main character, she wouldn't have the have the growth that she has by having to deal with idiot here. Oh wait. What up? Conscious? You sure? If or not, I made team that's a miraculous miracle. How can something be a miraculous miracle? It, it already is a miracle. You're right, I do make some great tea. You caught me. That's right, the mysterious graffiti artist of the Witch Academy who's left her mark all over but has never ever been seen is me! Except that I totally saw you. You haven't heard of me? Just don't tell anyone you saw me. I want to get up. I want to get up onto this. Thank you. How are you this morning? Conscious. Cool. <laughs> I'm doing fine, actually. I've... I've grinded through the week, and now I'm ahead of my university coursework till the 29th. That's good. Yeah, because I uh, kind of forgot about psychology, and I had to do 64 pages worth of reading, a quiz, and all this other stuff. So, that was, that was fun, in quotations. Sounds fun. Yeah. So, are you enjoying the... Is it chapter 5 now? I have no idea. I'm gonna be totally honest. Uh, the past hour and a half, I've been kind of zoned out and just following along with what it says I'm supposed to do. I am, I have not been connecting so well with this game. <laughs> I want to finish it for the sake of finishing it, and I'm getting like some some moments of goodness. And anything with Miriam is like actually bringing me back to interest. But oh, Miriam's great. But like most of it is just. Just sort of rolling off me, the way Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2 did. It's like, there's stuff to do, but I'm not doing it because I want to. I'm doing it because it's there, and what I want is to finish it. If that makes Ooh, sense. Fair 
actually, the goofy thing about these little blocks is if you already know the patterns for activating them... Yeah, so you, you just don't get past it. Yeah, so Sarah actually did the invisible one, or whatever. Invisible one? Or something, something with them. And she thought it was just singing a certain tune, and she was trying forever to reactivate it. It was glorious. Yeah, I really wish I did know that a little bit earlier, because I've gone past now three of them that are, like, clearly I'm going to get to walk through them, and they're blocking off stuff, and I'm getting farther and farther away from the first one, and I just <clears> want to <throat> get through it. <laughs> hey, Zant, how's it going? Ahoy. Boing. Yeah, like, really, I just, I, I want to be playing more Fire Emblem. I want to play endless amounts of Fire Emblem. <laughs> oh, yeah, it took you, what, 50 minutes for a single thing or something you said? Say that again? It took you, like, uh, this is why I'm not conscious right now. Um, like, what was, how long did it take you to do that last quest when I tuned in briefly? Oh, that, uh, chapter eight? Yeah. Uh... An hour and a half. Yeah. Plus. <laughs> that's very new. That's still at the beginning of the game. Yeah, you're playing hard mode, right? Yeah. But just like, I don't know, I'm 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 so much more invested there. <laughs> Allah. Amaris. What brings you here? Well, I'm kinda dead. Oh, I know that, believe me. And other things. Hmm? Really hurt this family, you know that? What you did was incredibly selfish. Hey, that's not very nice. Your sister was kidnapped. Why is that selfish? She wasn't kidnapped. Hmm? She ran away. Abandoned us, got herself killed. Why don't you tell us yourself? Well, I mean, yeah. You ran away from home? Why? I wanted the stupid war to end. And Mom has the power to stop it. But... She wouldn't hear me. I got frustrated. And then I thought, maybe the King of Rule would have more reason. I was desperate and stupid, and I realized that. So I ran away. And then I died. I'm sorry, Amaris. Okay, but now everyone thinks Rule's killed me, and it's just another thing instigating the war. Can't let that be my legacy. And how did you die? Forest monsters, or demons, or whatever they are. Something terrible's happening out there, and it's not Rule, and it's not us. Someone needs to make Mom understand that. We just need a song, Amaris. A spell song we can use to reach the palace. You're the only one who might know it. I do know it. I shouldn't even have to teach it to you, Hala. All the royal family should know it. Anor and Badri, I didn't. Really? How much old knowledge going forgotten? Here, this is it. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Losing you is very hard, Hala, for all of us. I couldn't help but be angry. Maybe you don't get it. I'm helping you so that you can go talk to Mother yourself. You hurt her the most. I hope you're ready to answer for that. Sure, why not? You all say it's important, so... I'm gonna go with that. Yeah, that's the yeah, see-through one. Yeah, so much progress can get lost with having this in the wrong spot. <laughs> yep. Sorta of good. Zant says, says sorta of good, I'm down to four party members and FV Echoes and I'm about to start Japanese a bit. A bit. You're down, how are you down to four? <laughs> like, that game doesn't have a very large cast, it's true, but that's like, that's a lot of, that's still a lot of death. You're playing classic, right? You have to be if you've got death. Yeah, otherwise you'd be having a lot more than just four characters. Yeah. I just started and everyone's dying. <laughs> Try to uh, not have everyone die. Secret of winning. Hard classic. Are uh, you are you good enough? Like skilled enough to do hard classic? Have you played other fire emblems? Oh, hello, Mask. Hey now, Wanderer. You did good finding me here. I feel something lurking within you. 
It's another dance, Wanderer. I think it's time to wake it up. Oh, this is terrible. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Stop those hips. Beautiful dance. Carry with you. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. Yeah, no, I don't know what any of that is, so that doesn't mean anything to me. And Zant, if you haven't played other Fire Emblems, I would re I would not say go hard classic. Like, yeah. you need like you can play tactics games, and tactics games get you to think about things a certain way. But Fire Emblem, like each tactics game has you thinking in its own little rule set. So, and Fire Emblem Echoes is a little bit different from other Fire Emblems, too. Like, I, I did, I did normal classic, and felt the game was just a little under-challenging, and I've played a ton of Fire Emblems. Tom Fox did normal classic for his recording, and he couldn't beat the final boss. And he's also played Fire Emblems. So, don't, don't start off over your head. <laughs> Please never do that dance again. What, this one? Nah, it's too bad. This is... I'm never gonna change it now. Much like the last dance, I'm gonna just do this forever and ever until it's been ingrained into everybody's heads. Somebody That's find nice. me a gif of this for the gif wall. Let's see if I can. <laughs> Okay, that's. I am not gonna type that again into Google. <laughs> Wonder Dong. <laughs> Wonder Wonder Dong. Freaking S and D are right beside each other. <laughs> Those hips don't lie, and the truth they say is Eldritch. Oh, shit. Alright, so then here... Now I can do this. And this is the actual way forward, because this is the only one left. Gotcha. Mask, what are you doing here again? Didn't expect to see you here. <clears throat> There's really no place like Moabumi is there. It's full of secrets. I think that's most important. The world needs mysteries. How did you get here? The real truth is... We can never know the real truth. Some questions are just too big. Don't you think? Real mystery can remind us that, even a mundane one. No, but seriously, how the fuck do you get here? Don't seek answers. Answers aren't worth a thing. Answers change all the time. What's true today may not be true tomorrow, and sometimes what you feel is more important than what you know. You gotta seek questions. I hate this man. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of hippie bullshit that spouts pseudoscience and things that get people to just be happy with, you know, ignorance in the world. Answers are science, and science rules. Indeed. Bill Nye taught me that. You will not stray me from his path of righteousness. The science guy. <laughs> well, that was unusual. I was holding right while I did that. There it goes. Holding right. Holding right. Holding right. Weird. It seems to do some kind of course correction for where, for like the angle that you take if you're holding the control stick from a regular jump or whatever. But that, that course correction doesn't usually make sense. That also wasn't the right thing, but it gave it to me anyways. Yay. Hmm. All right, awesome. Almost there. Huh. Come on. Fuck. I can't seem to find anything. Uh, close enough. I'll post that in your Discord. Oh, it's another one of these uh, these big blocks. Gotcha. 
There we go. It's the closest thing I could find to a stupid. Uh... Oh, do you, do you not want to? Ah, one sec here. You want to be annoying, computer. Jokes on you. How can you be even more annoying? There's a lot of little things in this game that I really think are pretty cool too. Like I like I like the the cutout art style for the most part. I like the characters speaking in ways that like just is it 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 makes immediate sense like to me as like somebody who talks who has talked to like a lot of younger people for the internet communities I'm on where people will just say one word, no punctuation, no capitals and in text form <clears throat> that communicates more. And you're just like I know exactly what cadence they're saying that in. Mm-hmm. And something like this, where the ghost follows you around in reflections. There's a bunch of little little things about this that's cool. But in terms of the actual characters and what's this going on, <laughs> and it's only Miriam. And Mi Miriam's whole thing is that she's like, what makes Miriam awesome? And she's just like, well, I'm actually sort of reconfiguring that because everybody else is, like, not this. But all the rest of the requests are just like so fluffy and lighthearted and like goofy and silly and like, but not 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 in a way that's making them me enjoy them. It's like, they're the, all of those things cause them to feel weightless. To me, if that makes sense. It does. Like it's silly and goofy and worth chuckles, but I'm not getting the hook that makes me like really. Invested in a story. Hala. Hi, Pranima. How did you... Who is... Why? What? We're here to talk to Mom. Oh. Uh, she's still looking for you, Hala. Anyone that lends her an ear, she sends to find you. You won't believe that you're gone. So, we should talk to her. Yes! I just thought you should know. Please be gentle with her. Can you do it again to grab a version from here? Because now I'm committed. Uh, shit. I was gonna try to walk forward a bit so I could get a clean background. But, now I'm talking to Queenie. So, don't let me end the stream without doing it. Shawnee, that is horrendous. But yeah. not quite what I'm after. I want the hip dance. <laughs> no, I know. That's only what I could find, which was... There, there was no hip dance on Google. That's Damn. Sad. Google, you failed me. Mom. That, or I'm not conscious enough. Can it be? Hala, Hala, you've returned to us. I knew it. I knew you were alive all this time. Your sisters denied it, said the most awful things, but I knew it, Hala. Why are you in the floor? <laughs> Sorry, Mom, but I'm definitely dead. But your voice. Why did you have to escape out the back end? <laughs> Mother, can't you see my death is reality? Though I've left the frame, my message is the same. Deep amongst the trees, something comes you must believe. Monsters growing tall. Danger to us all. They took my life, and now our strife each day grows ever more. They can't afford to be ignored because of pointless war. Okay, is the song done? Oh my god. I wish I could just give to you forgiveness that you lack. This war is not worth all our loss, and it won't bring me back. And now I'm on the floor. Just like in the glass. She's gone! And I melted into your floor. Allah, her words, they're so naive. What? Oh, my dear old Hala, I can't believe she's really gone. She died carrying this foolish idea. She never understood how things worked. How could we just end the war? It's impossible. 
No, oh my god, I'm so tired. Like, ugh. Those were her last words. There's a ghost. She came all this way to say that to you. Yeah. I dearly wish that made her words true, but it does not. Any more than when she was with us. Gah! Wait! It's not all. There's an invasion tomorrow. Yes, I am well aware. Those animal-leaving barbarians, so long as they haunt us, there will never be a chance for peace. What? Please be gone now, whoever you are. I'm a bard, by the way. Hmm. Um, and I'm trying to save the world. Hmm. So I need to learn the Overseer song? Hmm. Can you teach me it? <clears throat> no. Miss Queen, Hala's message was really important. I really think you should listen to what she said about monsters and stuff in the war. Our spell squad is already dealing with them. My worry now is a hero we sent to rescue her in rule. Hala, my wonderful daughter, she was so intelligent and yet so foolish. She could have been a scholar like Amaris if only she weren't so reckless. Please, I wish to be alone. Fuck you, Queen. God, you just dumb. Just dumb. Yeah, here. This is this is better. Do it now with the not smile. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless. Maybe I'll even toss this in as a gif, uh, as as a submission, I mean, uh, as a subscription, like a sub variation, along with a super rare Malos. Maybe you'll get this. <laughs> Are you good, KV? Can you make a clip of this? I'm gonna assume this is good because I'm starting to get a little disturbed. <laughs> Them hips? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, Sean, you missed it. And if you were here, you could have told me about it. The 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 boat. Yeah. Where I get to write their songs, and one of them I literally just did this for the whole time. And it was the accordion player, and it was the awfulest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> I have to go back and watch the one after. <laughs> Ghost Kid! I'm really sorry about my mother. I just want you to know I really think Hollow was right. And you needed the Overseer song, right? I can teach that to you, if it helps. <gasps> yes! Then listen close. Whoops. Fucking it up. Oh, it's actually hitting with a pretty fast timing now. Faster than it has in the past, anyway. The actual piano going on in the background, like, is pretty nice. I like the lower, faster feeling of this one, and this building when it goes around, it's good. But the bard in front of it is ruining it. Oh yeah, I like that one. Thank you! Keep talking to my mother. Maybe with time, sense will reach her. Good luck on your journey, ghost kid. Okay, bye! It's still struggling. At 1500, I'm still struggling. Down to a thousand. I talked to my uh, ISP last week and they basically just like, the first and only person so far to recognize that it's a traffic problem and not a network problem. But <clears throat> their solution, their response to that was like, too fucking bad. We can't, we can't get Shaw to upgrade your line based on one person's complaints that they can't verify. Oh, good. So, yay. What it is is what it is, and when my internet gets so bad that I can't stream at all, there's nothing I can do about it. So ready to get out of this apartment. I got a yeah, plan. When... I got, uh, <clears throat> sorry. No, no, you finish first. I know, I was just gonna say, like, I got a plan for some stuff that I want to do this year, and I want to spend a, a good chunk of this weekend ironing that out. 
Um, which is basically take a good couple of months in the in the middle of the year and just up and plant myself in Vancouver for a while and Japan for a while and just just go do things like find mm. temporary accommodations go look at schools go look at offices get in some social clubs talk to people more excited yeah well more more <laughs> more more excited about Japan than I am about mm. Vancouver but Vancouver is still a thing I want to do just so I can go out and like get involved in some stuff and then if nothing else happens I'll come back here. So with that stuff said, I'm not sure how, what my streaming and YouTube schedule is going to look like this year. Because with all that going on, I don't know how able I'll be to continue consistency. There are things I, things I got to think about and start planning out. Hmm. What were you going to Things like that need to be done every now and then. Yes. Like, absolutely. That's a, I'm so excited about it because I've been just feeling stagnated here for over a year now. What were you going to say? Uh, um, more or less, like, for the whole noise internet thing is it only took, like, a couple weeks ago for the company to actually come here and go, oh, you guys were right about the complaint. It's like, we've been here for, like, a year and a half now. So it's like, that's great. Yeah, I, Shaw sent out somebody to look at the physical lines like in the first month when I was complaining about it, and there was a real problem, and they fixed it. But ever since then, it's just been a traffic issue. The other thing I was going to say that's caught my attention is obviously I'm part of the speedrunning communities, and I stay up to date with news. Mm -hmm. uh, there's going to be a wind, wind Waker randomizer soon. There already is, unless you mean a run. Well, most likely a run yeah. because because I've I've seen half dozen people I know play that already. Yeah, well, you can play as Lucario, and he looks amazing with his expressions. I'm gonna look away from that now. Hey, <laughs> check it out! I mastered this stupid broom. Now I can get us anywhere in the city, so we can finally meet the. You met the queen already, didn't you? Yep. Well, great. <laughs> Like, like this is this, this is what I meant. Like the crawly text adds something, but the removal of a period. Yeah. There, there, like there, there. It it takes out any sense of like int intonation or like turning it into a question or or an. Whoops, I punched my mic. Turning it into a question or an exclamation. It's just a flat. Well, great. Mm. So you got the overseer song. Yeah. What's wrong? What's the problem? The war didn't end, Miriam. Even after we came all this way, we couldn't change anything. <sighs> How many times do I have to tell you? The world is ending! War or no war, it doesn't matter. We got the song, we have what we need, we can <coughs> meet the Overseer. Look, if you ever wondered why I'm so wobbly on this broom, it's because I, I drink. Hop on. like broom, let's go. Or you can meet me later if you still have stuff to do. I'll mark on your map where to find me, but keep it quick. No, let's go. Whenever you're ready, hop on my broom. I'm all done. I am all done. Here we go. Wow, Miriam, you fly this broom really well. It's like you never lost your old one. Eh. I'm definitely not as good at this one, but thanks. I'm really sorry, Miriam, about your broom, and also, we promised to work together more, but I met the queen without you. Are you upset with me? Not at all. What would make you think that? Still upset my broom broke, but I'm not mad at you. I had a lot of stuff to think about anyway. It was weird being in a city of the witches. Thought it'd be a place where I fit in, but it didn't. That just means you're special. Yeah, like that's not patronizing or anything. I've been special my whole life. Around Delphi, me and Safi were the only witches. I never knew someone else like me. And I guess I still don't. Doesn't feel good to be different like this. I feel like I'm just messed up. And I'll never fit in anywhere. I don't fit in either, Miriam. Why, well, yes you do. Everywhere you go, you make lots of friends. Everyone loves you. Nobody loves me. 
I love you. I mean, like a friend. <sighs> yeah, I know. And maybe I do make friends, but it's not because I fit in or I'm like them. Everywhere we go, I'm an outsider. Just being on this adventure is wrong for me. I'm not a hero. I'm not supposed to be here. But you make me feel like I am. We're outsiders together. I'm glad we're friends. You know, you're probably the only person I know that I call a friend. I'm glad we're friends too. As we go further in this game, I'm definitely seeing where this could, like, this could, this game could make a big impact on people, like, from the way the characters talk. Mm hmm. Like, not identical to Celeste, but that's the other indie game that I'm thinking of that had this type of an effect. Where them just existing and, like, doing what they do in their game, it's just like, I get this. Like, people who have anxiety problems or who, like, that that type need of thing they just said. yeah yeah they need these things said in media somewhere so yeah yeah like i a thousand percent get that people would be into this <clears throat> i guess it, i i just don't i it's it's not it's not things that i need so i don't get that oh my god it hit hits me in my soul thing true like i can speak from a personal experience like one two months before i got married yeah i stopped giving a shit before that i was always really really shy like you probably remember me from the original board game nights mm -hmm. yeah after i got married i'm like fuck it and playing this i'm like yeah i think this makes me remind me of this shit again yeah no, that's fair <clears> like <throat> I, I i i try to not give a shit definitely doing stuff on the internet helps Mm. because you're just like you put yourself out there and even as a small dude like as a small dude you don't get too much of the negativity but you get an occasional person but there's there's also the thing of like i've had people ask me how do you commit to just doing dumb voices and i'm like because there's nobody sitting next to me to look weird with at me <laughs> you just you just do it <laughs> oh i can confirm from marriage i make weird <laughs> voices in public to screw sarah so <laughs> kind of the opposite effect yeah so no i i still get it a little bit like, if I'm with uh, my old group of friends or whatever, where I've got, like, a decade-plus of history, it's weird to just up and be a different person with them. But with new people, I don't know, it's just, like, just, just be me. I'm a little reserved yeah. in social situations naturally, but in that way that, like, every now and again, I'll say something that just, like, gets people to, like, wait, that came from you? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> That'll just drop occasional bombs. <laughs> We're going to meet the moon overseer, the moon's queen. And if I understand right, we're going to have to play the song I learned and the song you learned at the same time. No idea why, but it means I'll enter with you. Pretty standard by now, right? We'll probably land far apart like last time, but I'll meet up with the ASAP. That's the plan. Any questions? Why do we land far apart? <laughs> I don't know. Well, the thing about the spirit world is none of it is real, the way things are here. Shaped by your mind and the Overseer. That's why it goes empty when an Overseer dies. And different people see different things in it. And it looks really different to the hero. So the space there is really chaotic and shifting. Distorting around each person there. It's probably basically impossible for people to find each other. Except the castle where the Overseer lives is the center that's the same for everyone. So that's probably why we find each other there. I guess I knew it all along. I just never put the pieces together. Does that make sense? I can explain again if you want. How are you feeling? I feel fine, I guess. Pretty feelings out right now. I'm ready to go meet an overseer. Couldn't do it without you, Miriam. Yeah. The hero? Oh, her. Yeah, <clears throat> I heard the witch queen sent her off to go find a princess or something. But she died. Awesome. I mean, not <laughs> awesome, but uh, that... Uh, look, you know, that'll keep the hero occupied a while, so that's good news for us. Invasion? It's today. Looks like we beat it, though. You think everyone will be okay? Probably not. But, fuck them. These idiots want to fight each other? I guess we have to just let them. Stop giving me that look. We're gonna save the world, remember? We don't have time to fix every problem on our way. And also, real talk, you fucking tried. You took the dead princess to both of them, and they both listened and said no. So, it's off your plate. I hit the wrong thing, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> but why aren't you shaking your hips while talking? That's a good point. Let's get it over with. Button. <laughs> okay, great. Stop <laughs> gyrating. You can't make me, Miriam. I have a song in my heart and my penis, and I need to get it out. <laughs> of my penis. <laughs> I guess heart and my hips would have uh, made for better alliteration there. Yeah. <laughs> but dick jokes are funny. Always. Yeah. Oh, cool. We're making eclipse. So Miriam has her little flute or whatever. Miriam, Miriam's a really good character. <clears throat> Miriam's like the she only is. character that I like. That I genuinely have an attachment to in this world. Yeah, because if you have the bard who's a good catalyst, and like it's he's neutral to everything, so you can see everything. But Miriam is, like, how a lot of people view the world and shit. It's I, great. I, I don't know if I'd call him neutral. He's blindingly positive. A lot of people are ignorant like that, though. Like, just, you go through the entire life always seeing... <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> you a human? Yes? Oh, hello, little moth friend. Um, the moon fairy. I've been hiding here for a long time. You must be here, all right? No. Oh, no. Things have gotten very bad. The moon queen's very angry. The monsters started appearing here. They took away my only friend. Um, that's why I hid. I'm not very brave. My friend is, though. If I were brave like she is, I would go rescue her, but I can't. I can help you! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can help you with the power of purple flashlight beams from my face. <laughs> Radiation, it helps everyone. You aren't the hero. That's okay. I'm a bard. I don't know what that is, but if you can help my friend, um, that'd be great. You can go this way. Yeah, so I just have flashlight voice. Yep. Not sure what for. You were saying a thing. And then I oopsed. Oh, no, don't worry about it. I was going to say, I, this actually is my favorite of the Mercier things. I like the swimming. Mm-hmm. Woo! This gives me a Star Hill vibe from Mario RPG. Yeah. But this entire Overseer world is, I just really, really enjoy. Oops, 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 uh, um. <laughs> I hacked it up. he screams to his death in an <laughs> octane note. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, that's what I was going to have to grab. This is Lock. tricky. That, uh, that. <clears throat> I hope I managed to get into RPG Let It Break this year again. You're going with a different game than Custom Robo, right? Uh, I'll be submitting Custom Robo in a different category just because they, like, they told me, like, hey, uh, what's the harm of having two games? Because if you can have more consideration, and, it's like, and plus, you know, that that is me, is Custom Robo. Whoops! But, uh... <laughs> I just completely overshot that. Yeah, uh, it wasn't my fault. <laughs> it seems to have uh, taken, like, accepted me as making it to the next area. 
Oh yeah. Whoops. Whoops. All the oops. Well, fuck. Look, I made it my emote for a reason, all right? It works. It mm -hmm. applies to everywhere. But yeah, if I... Oh, uh, yeah, we're going... To, we're trying to get Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate in, but this mission's closed on the 27th, and I meant to submit uh, all parts and uh, grand battle of the game. So... Because I... The thing is, I like... I like the charity a lot. It's, it's a good charity. I don't have my cam on. You can't see me nodding. Yep. <laughs> yeah, because it's uh, NAMI, so it's the National Alliance of Mental Illness. So. Ah, uh, uh, this is gonna... I, I see what they want. Yep. Woo. <laughs> I'm liking this this so far, too. The way that they've they've done, like, this one mechanic is is definitely, like... You gotta you gotta line things up a little bit more carefully than previous yeah. puzzles. Well, that and also like this is semi like kind of post game spoiler, but it doesn't spoil the game. But uh, originally, this entire section of the game was the entire game they had planned. Oh, so this was like their their game jam prototype type thing. Yeah, it was the entire kingdom back and forth overseer song kind of thing but then eventually they found hey we can probably do a little bit more with this and then they did and then they made the other chapters they made the pirates they made delphi they made all these other places and it's like okay this is you the know, place that's... where the sun king lives my friend is trapped in here sun's king i'm gonna go a little over today just because i'm in here and i want to get this this overseer thing done yeah it's, it's a good time to stop <laughs> afterwards Plus, the game is absolutely more, like, what's the word? Not fun, not bearable, but, like, it's 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 just easier to, to keep rolling if there's someone to chat with. You were mm. gone early last week, so I got to the half hour, to the, like, hour and a half mark and just, just started looking at the clock. Yeah. No, it's, I was super tired yesterday. What about the moon overseer? She's back the way we came. Why are there two overseers? Um, I don't understand your question. I thought they all lived really far apart. Um, well, we used to be further apart a long time ago, but now we're very close. So the castles moved? Yes. Is that strange? I guess not. I mean, they're castles, so yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> Eyes. Eyes. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> <laughs> also, why is the Sun King's palace pitch black? Hmm, I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> uh, add another game. But yeah, I'm I'm the only one in the customable community who could submit the other categories. Because yeah, no one else runs them. <laughs> Everyone else has just done like a one and done kind of thing. So. You're, you're flexing your custom muscles? I have every world record in every category. So... People actually, uh, they, if they compete, they compete for second place. Eep. They, they, they could... Oh, though, yeah, those guys are fun. That's one of them. Guys, shake their hips. Monsters that kidnap my friend. Oh goodness, I'm so frightened. Friend is deeper in the castle, so I'll have to be brave. Whoops! All right, so it's stealth. I have to not get captured. Yep. And <laughs> just don't jump there and say hello. <laughs> I, I love the static that appears when they're they're glancing in your general direction, or it definitely does something to add some uh, some skitsy to the uh, to the experience. I wonder if I can sing at them. It doesn't look like it. So how am I supposed to get through this? Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. That truly how. Far and fast, do you think you can run? 
Oh, I do have to run. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, you book it. And then they can't come into these things. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> is that stealth is also how fast can you run? So, horror. Yeah. And you can see where the platforms are with your, your mm -hmm. thing. It's, 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 all, it's all really well done here. I like it a lot. But it clearly shows like this was their original plan because like, a lot of things work better in this kingdom. Well, in here, there's like no need for the songiness. This is just, you could do this with a flashlight. Mm-hmm. I decided to try being brave, but I'm very new to it, so I'm still taking baby steps. Carrying keys for my friends and things like that. Please be patient with me. Oh, it's a shame I never got my other game finished for uh, uh, Monster Hunter. Or not Monster Hunter, sorry, uh, for um, submissions. I was going to do another one on the Switch, but University. Mm. Mm. I've got like two, three weeks left in my animation contract, and I've got a couple shots left that are like big, and I'm super worried about getting them done. So, but after the February 15th, my contract will be up, and I will have my free time back. And anything that I've been unable to do for a while, I can finally get back to and just like just start slamming out stuff with free time. It's, it's not even necessarily that I'll have a ton of extra free time, because I haven't been spending as much of my free time doing the animation as I would want to. I don't know why, just when it got to the end, it got near the end here, I just sort of have started losing a little bit of uh, drive for it. Mm. But, like, it'll, it'll be that it's not weighing on my mind anymore. And it's not like, I need to make time today to do this thing. I can just freely get myself hooked into other stuff. I'll have to just see how it goes. Yeah, because I like, have to get you over to play that Or help me play that game, I should say. Mm -hmm. Even I'm not that evil to uh, make you... Uh... I've played a ton of shit games. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> also, I love how the fairy just kind of hucks the key. Yeah! <laughs> I'm brave to try things out. I'll throw this thing at 20,000 kilometers per hour towards the door. Whoops. Well, that was, that was my mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the bard was never heard of again. Yerg. Oh, if only. And boop. Oh, that's my friend. It's a frog. Sunny. What's up? Are you okay? Are you up? Sunny, it looks like you're locked in a very big cage. Are you up? I'm very sorry about that. I was not brave enough to find you by myself. My new friend helped me get here. Yep. What? You'll be very proud of me. I've been practicing being brave by helping my friend carry keys and things like that. Yep. Cool. <laughs> We're gonna bust you out. I promise. We will find the key and I will carry it all the way here. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I like frog. Frog's great. <laughs> Sides of my speed run. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I didn't really have a plan for that one. I just kind of charged. <laughs> <laughs> Throw your face into it, literally.
Yeah, so I gotta do this very short. Quickly. <clears throat> Probably wants me to jump over it. Whoops. Yeah, because there's no uh, no safe zone past it. That was just a tricky jump. Because, like, I can't tell exactly what the boundaries of the platform are, but I need to jump and move forward just a smidgen. Which is, like, tricky. Because Bard has weird acceleration, as I've talked about on a previous stream. Yeah, he does. Like, it's, it's not possible to just nudge. If I nudge, he goes forward a full foot. Whoops! Went too early. I'm pretty sure this will work. I just need to get my timing right. Riveting, truly. <sighs> oh my fucking god, come on! Which way does he look? Does he look up or down? Because he caught me going over him. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, he does look over, so you need to follow him under. That's much less irritating. <laughs> I mean, I thought that that would make me touch him and he'd find me that way, but I guess they have no sense of touch. Damn ghosts. Cool, so making the noise made him find me. How am I supposed to get out of here? Is it just because he's super slow? Uh, yes. Well, I fell into a pit. <laughs> yes, he did. God damn it. Get the thing. Get it. Yeah! Alright, that didn't work either. <laughs> Get it? Get the key? Run. 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 Ugh, this back and forth just... Ugh, it kills me. Uh, come on! Fucking... He's like right on my ass. Every time I lurch forward, he's like... He catches up on... I mean, every time I fall, he like lurches to keep up with me. Instead of giving me the distance. Sunny! Yep. Did you see? <laughs> I carried the key all the way to you! Yep. His actual voice clip that's playing is also just a yep. <laughs> yep. You did it, buddy. I'm proud of you, yep. Thank you, and now <gasps> we make our escape. Uh, yep. Yay. Made it to the end. Made it out. Hey, Miriam. You're leaving already. <laughs> Did you meet the overseer? No. There were complications. I'm helping these fairies escape. <sighs> the castle got bad. It's full of evil monsters, and I think I saw the overseer, but he was all haunted. Where's the escape to? Where is there to escape to? Um, well... There's the eclipse... It's a portal out of the spirit world, but we can't reach it with our little wings. You two want to leave the spirit world? Whoops. Um. Yep. We should help them. They're super nice, I promise. Well, alright. Hang on tight, then. Choo! Alright, cool. So you just got rid of our only guides in here. I hope you're happy. Now we can find the. Ah! I got lightninged. 
You losers. <gasps> Miriam! You have any idea what you've done? Letting more creatures out of the spirit world, putting more innocence in harm's way. Wake up, Miriam. Please wake up. Please wake up. Oh, she's scary. She's gonna cut my head off. I'm sick of your meddling. You're making everything worse. Why would you do this? Miriam didn't do anything wrong except for the thing that you got mad at her for. <laughs> you aren't listening to me. Yes, she did. Do you see what's behind me? It's Moon Overseer's Castle. But I was there earlier and it was way further away. The spirit yep. world is collapsing. Three out of seven overseers are dead now. Each one gone makes this world lose stability. It's all shrinking now. Everything's getting closer and closer together. And things are leaking out into our world. Or getting squeezed out. This is how it starts. The dark ages that will consume our world. I don't care! You're a bitch. <laughs> how are we supposed to know not to do that? That's exactly right. You don't know. That's why you shouldn't even be here. What is going on? It's the Overseers. Their personalities are dying, their forms are deteriorating, they're turning into animals driven by instinct, you know. We have to stop them getting out at any cost now. Didn't think I'd be fighting two at once. Lucky I have just the thing. The Potion of Power! <laughs> Thanks for getting me this. I knew he'd come in handy. Um. I feel like this is a bad idea. They didn't even notice us. They're fighting over what little space is left. Territorial. Ooh, the bloom. <laughs> Blot out the sun, dark side of the moon, and twofer. Many more achievements. They destroyed each other. Guess I didn't need that potion after all. Not much left here now. I guess you can still get your silly song thing, right? It's gonna get much, much worse from here out. Just so you know, the spirit world is almost completely collapsed. I was supposed to kill all the overseers before this happened, but it's too late now. You don't belong in this story. Oof. Miriam? Miriam! Are you okay? No. I mean, I'll be fine, but it, I'm gonna lay here a bit. <laughs> See, Miriam's the best. <laughs> yes. Alright, so a big old piano. That's interesting. How am I supposed to make that? Oh, okay. Walking doesn't doesn't do it. Yeah. Wait, one of the keys is gone. Okay, they didn't take another one. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Fuck. That shouldn't have counted. I didn't I didn't even land on the platform on the way down. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Making big orbs. And two giant celestial bodies get sucked into my skin pores. It hurts. 
Wow, sure looks different. What do you think happened, Miriam? A war. Are you okay? Obviously not. Everything sucks right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can carry you, Miriam. Wow, she is purple. She is purple. Yep. I can't. I can't jump. He's like, Ugh. sing to you. That'll make you feel better. <laughs> Uh, the bar is natural plus one strength out of 500. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Miriam, you're always carrying me around on your broom, but now I'm carrying you. Heh. It's harder than it looks. What with the not magic and all. This is just on my legs. All right, I need you to hold tight because I'm gonna. Oh, I wanted to f jump off the side of the castle. <laughs> yeah, shortcut. Oh, oh, that's oh. There's big monsters here. Yep. Can't believe you really came here, even in the midst of this crisis. Is your passion for war so deep? Ah, oh, spare me. You came too. Don't act like you're better than us. So I'm guessing a war happened and a bunch of the extra monsters that they both blamed the other side for also showed up. <laughs> yeah. The hero already killed them, I think. We thought there would be more of you. We have our hands full. There's an outbreak of giant monsters. Maybe you noticed. It is our burden as well. Yeah. 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 I hope you can summon your broom to you because I don't know where it went. I sure as hell didn't pick it up. Striking out a string of disaster like this, barbarians. No, we came because we knew you would. We're in a lot of trouble right now. The last thing we need is a bunch of lunatic witches attacking us too. Wait! Sorry, Miriam, I dropped you on the floor. Stop fighting! What's going on? <laughs> Boss. Where did you come from? You shouldn't be out here. Hey, are you that peasant that I threw in jail? Um, you know this hooligan? They colluded against me with my daughter. My daughter who perished in your kingdom. We had nothing to do with that. You turned the hero against us with those lies, leaving us alone against the monsters. How dare you speak to me of lies? You people love your filthy animals so much. Perhaps you deserve to live with monsters. Oh god, I have constipation again. Yep. You did lose them on this. How dare you! Only a villain like you would think of doing such a thing. You think we're villains? Lady, you better take a look in the mirror. Ugh, the hold notes that prevent me from just doing this over and over again. <laughs> East and west, voices grow into a singular rushing flow. All in pain, hearts are... A flame. Burning need to end this war. All gather voices. And our one choice is clear, and it's not this. Oh, yay, that one didn't rhyme. Just like, fuck you. I'm done singing. It's not this. <laughs> Cannot watch any longer while war is mongered on. Hurts us all. have our fears we're not the same but nothing's worth this suffering every night and day that doesn't rhyme <laughs> share one world and share in one need live in peace and harmony Whoa, 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 whoa. 
<laughs> bard solo, go! Hmm, the bard appears to have uh, fallen over dead. You, <laughs> you killed him! How dare you! He was an innocent! <laughs> of all the people in our two kingdoms, how is that possible? More importantly, do you really think singing some cheesy song telling us the war is pointless with the voice of the people or whatever changes anything? Because let me tell you, yeah, it kind of did. <laughs> I mean, I knew the war was hurting us, but I didn't realize how much. I thought it was good for everyone in the long run, but I guess in their hands, nobody wants it. Hearing their voices moved me. We failed those who needed us, especially in this moment of crisis. Can't afford to uphold this conflict. There must be another way to settle our differences. Uh, yes. Wait, where's Miriam? She's still up there. Miriam, over here. <sighs> I finished walking down the hill. You can walk. Barely. I just kind of hobbled over here. Thought I was good to go again, but uh, I'm not. Listen, Luke. I don't think I'm gonna make it with you from here. What? I'm in no condition to fly you. I don't know if you noticed, but things are getting bad. Spirit world just collapsed. Monsters are spreading everywhere. It's dangerous. The next nexus point will be the hardest yet. I don't think I can do it. And I'm worried about my grandma. I need to go home and rest. Oh. That's okay. I'll do it myself. Oh. You aren't upset? Well, yeah, a little, but I wish you could come. But you're right, you need to rest, and I need to keep going, because we have to save the world. No matter what. I mean, it's not like, yay, right near the end of the game, you're just gonna take away the only character they actually liked. <laughs> Fucking... I'm really gonna miss you, Miriam. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me too. Ah, I feel so useless, I came all this way, and, and I couldn't make it. That stupid hero is probably right. I really am a loser. No, it's not even close. You're so much more than that. You can do a million things I can, and even if you could, especially me. Oh. Gross. Hey, do you two need help? No. Yes! We need to fly! <laughs> Anywhere you want to go, we'll take you. It's the least we can do. Anywhere, huh? I'll be okay, Miriam. I think. Okay. Good luck on your magical adventure, I'm going home. Tell Grandma I said hi! Hop on when you're ready. Okay, cool, I was just gonna say, you know, there's two of them. Are you really gonna- does it take two of you to take Miriam back? Like, you're gonna leave me on the ground? No, they were smart enough to not do that. Yep. Wonder what Safi will think, seeing me come home like this? I don't think she'd ever be disappointed in me, but- or at least she'd never show it. Why would she be disappointed? Because I failed. That's why. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Without you, we never would have made it that far. She'll be proud. I remember when you got hit by the hero's lightning. I had no idea how bad it actually hurt. I was guilting you for not helping more, but for moping around so long. Sorry. Yeah, that was kind of, kind of, you know, not cool of you. You really think you're going to make it without me? I don't know if you're ready for what's ahead. Mount Icor is really deadly and gross. Now monsters are spreading everywhere, and you'll probably see the hero again. I'm worried about you. If it gets really scary, don't push it, okay? Nope! Gonna go till I drop over dead. <laughs> Yay! I wish you wouldn't. Okay, seriously, goodbye. Get out of here before I change my mind. So it still gives me a speech bubble, as it's never done before, and lets me move to talk, but just says no text. PC port is busted as fuck. <laughs> Didn't want to do that, but okay. I was trying to hop down so I could talk, talk to the kings. But bye! Act 6. The Beast at Icor Mountain. Part. Yeah, that was the largest chapter of the entire game. How much longer do you think we got in this? One and a half, maybe? One and a half streams? Yeah. It's three hours. I might just do it all next week.
Yeah. Oh, that was easy. And Miriam made such a big deal out of it. She's so silly sometimes. I guess this isn't exactly it. You need to get to the top of that mountain, right? Right. But I can't fly that high. There's crazy winds and storms, so you need to do the rest on foot. I got you pretty far, though. Also, I'm really worried about Chandesh. All those monsters went loose. Vivian can't fight them alone, you know? So if something happened to me, well, I just really want to get back. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, okay, um, good luck. Bye. Random snake impression. <clears throat> okay, last save just now. Let's get out of here. Ah. <sighs> yeah, this oh, is... Oh, hail the virtual boy. This... <laughs> This is a weird feeling for me to have on stream, and it's for a game, and it's one that I don't have. It's one that I haven't had for a very long time. Or, like, I, I so rarely have that I don't know what to do with it, but it's like... Yeah, it last came up in Mario Galaxy, where it's like... I know people enjoy this. I can see reasons for them to enjoy it, but, like... I have absolutely no desire to keep going. Hmm. And I don't know why. I don't, I don't, like, makes me feel bad in that I'm not connecting with what I know other people, especially close friends like you and Sarah, did so much. It's all in context, though. Like, it's, it's never going to be the same experience for two people playing the same game, medium, or anything like that. But, like, I'm on stream with it. Like, I've... I bought the game and I committed to it as a goal, so I'm like, I'm gonna play the whole thing through. But I'm gonna go the whole week and it's never gonna enter in my mind, and then I'm gonna wake up on Saturday and be like, I guess I should do the thing. <laughs> well, at least waking up is good. Yeah. I'm halfway done my team. I'm actually semi-conscious now. Awesome. Well, I need to, uh... Go, shower, do some other stuff, clean up. I have a chiropractor appointment. And then either get to work on my animation stuff, if I if I get myself into a groove, I'll start a stream on that, or I'll start planning uh, Japanese stuff, and that's just me, like, I'm probably gonna buy a bulletin board and stick it up on the wall and then just, like, put up paper notes so that I have mm -hmm. a visual indication. I could do it digitally, but then it stays in, like, my iPad or something and it's not there unless I go look at it, and I really want something that's just always there. That's going to keep me motivated to keep thinking about it, you know? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> I, have, I have that downstairs from my university stuff. Anywho's, I hope you guys have had a decent enough morning this today, at least. I hope you're enjoying the game. I hope you're enjoying me being silly about it. If not, I hope you're at least, you know, hanging out and having a decent time chatting. Got any suggestions on where we should go? If we should raid at all this morning, I usually like to send a raid to somebody, but like if I don't, I, I I wasn't keeping track of anything funny to say today. I usually don't, and gonna go watch the Ruby. Have a good rest of your day, Lady KV, Later KV. Clover's going. Yeah, Clover's usually a good person to send people at. But what to say? Where's Miriam's broom? Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I wanted to rotate it out, or rotate the old one out with something. Well, I, I I wanted to rotate a gift, but I like everything that I have up here right now. I don't think I'm ever gonna take away Malos. Malos is gonna be there permanently, and I always want a Luigi gift on the bottom right. And the other two, I, I just I just really liked them. I really liked the bouncy uh, uh, the bouncy Marina gift too, but I think that one had been there the longest. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think. What happened today that was funny? I 
I can't think of anything right now. Magic music, why not? It's a little bit alliterative. And that's a thing you can try to say five times fast. A little bit alliterative, a little bit alliterative. A little, little. A little bit know, alliterative. A little bit alliterative. <laughs> Sarah's gonna have to um, do shopping later, so I'll <laughs> stream later myself. I, I thought you were gonna say something interesting. Three seconds no. of silence, like I'm not awake. <laughs> groceries and stuff. So no, my birthday's on the thirty-first. So cool. I'm not allowed to go shopping. Cool. Let me know if you do anything for that. I'm gonna send these people off because they're just sitting here. Bye. Yeah. Bye, peoples.